Hey you guys, it's 7.20 and I'm gonna do the bike now. Happy Tuesday. So we did close to 45 minutes, we did 44.36. And this is what the rings are looking like. They look pretty good. So don't mind my nails because this is like the worst manicure I've had in a while. They're like so broken. But um, I'm sharing this now that it's over because last night I did an at-home sleep study. And literally everything came in that little case right there. It was just a chest. What would you call that? Like a heart monitor? It was like a chest workout strap looking thing. It was a pulse ox, like oxygen thing. And then it was a nasal um, cannula, but it wasn't like giving me oxygen or anything. It was, um, it was uh, just like measuring stuff i guess i don't know how that works but it was all connected how it works how, how like the cannula was measuring stuff measuring but, your breath. yeah well anyway whatever it's all done i only got stuck in it once i had to like get untangled but it was pretty good and hopefully this is decent well not i'm not gonna say decent results but like hopefully this is enough um data that they can just get something out of this rather than have to go to the hospital and like put all the things on and la da 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 so yeah and there's millions gajillions reasons why people do um sleep studies but the reason why I was sent for mine was because um, I, when I was in the hospital and I would, you know, kind of like lay my head back, you know, and just relax, I would set off whatever kind of monitor they had. I don't know if, it, like, I, I truly don't know if it was for oxygen if it was for whatever it was but they they would come running because you know it was the it was the ICU but like they would come running and I'd be like what the heck so but then again and like not to make like excuses but like theirs might have been a little more sensitive because it's you know a higher care floor I don't know I'm not looking too much into it I'm just doing what they told me to do and um honestly i i've i've slept decently for the last like month so you know it's nothing new and then you know if i've you know so for me like i've always been like a toss you know a toss and turn and you know like a reposition and like oh you gotta get water at 3 a.m or oh you gotta use the restroom or you know what I mean like that's just always been me like ever since I was little um however I do know that a, th a thing um 
that I've seen is like, you know, people with CP have trouble sleeping. Um, but who knows? Uh, that might be just the uh, cute little kids that have it. But, you know, I've been fine for the last like 10 years. So we'll see. At home sleep study. Who would have thought? <laughs> In twenty in twenty twenty three, it literally I played clarinet in a middle middle school band in like fifth grade, and it looks exactly like the clarinet did back in the day. So, um, it is now eleven eighteen, and you're sitting behind my water cup for the day. Um. And I got a nice coffee because I felt like it. Um, but um, my mom dropped off the um, sleep thing. Everything went good. Um, it takes about three weeks to get results, which whatever, it's fine. And uh, but the best part is we're going to do telehealth for the results. So I'm like, yes. When she told me it was 8.15 in the morning, I was like, oh my God, that's early. But like, that's early to be done with everything I usually do and then ready to do something, you know. But it's fine. At least we don't have to like drive all the way there just for a conversation. Honestly, while we're at it, that's kind of... The other thing the lockdown did it is or has continued to do because most of my doctors still offer it is I'm like, can we just do like telehealth so I don't have to like go in there and like sit in a waiting room? You know what I mean? Like having to go in a waiting room now is like nails on a chalkboard to me. Never again. No, never again. But cheers. To a second cup of coffee that after this I'm done because if I have any more then I will be like not be able to, not be able to sleep tonight. Yeah. I'm literally like that TikTok or the Instagram reel of that person being the beverage goblin because I'm that person that has to have like three drinks at once, one for fun, one for energy, and one for hydration. And today was definitely that day. <laughs>